Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. Grieve all back at it with another unboxing video. Today we have something pretty interesting. This is a, well, I ended up paying $100 for it. Mystery, pro wrestling mystery box from Icon Autographs. If you don't know, Icon Autographs is a Canadian, maybe, Canada-based um, autograph company. Uh, they're in the Niagara Falls area. They work with Niagara Falls Comic Con and Frightmare in the Falls a lot. I think they're like the official autograph partner or something. And they do a lot of uh, auctions on Facebook. Try to catch them when I can. Cool thing is, all their prices are in Canadian, so if you're in the U.S. like I am, you can usually get a pretty good deal. Uh, the conversion rate was about 75 cents to the dollar uh, when I bought. And this was a special auction because it was a tax-free one. They took care of the taxes, so you didn't have to pay it. So with shipping and everything, it ended up being like, Slightly, it was like a hundred dollars and change after the conversion and everything. I'm supposed to have an autograph Funko. They had a few different boxes. I'm trying to remember which one I got. It's, I think it's either six or eight autograph photos of wrestlers, and possibly another item. I don't remember. Took a bit to get here because Canada Post is about as good as U.S. Post. I've been waiting a while, so let's get ready for the unboxing. Chomp, thank you. Well, that wasn't my coolest. While I'm doing this, make sure you give me a like. Make sure you subscribe to my videos. Make sure you have the notification bell on. It's Nobody knows when my videos are going up anymore. My schedule is very erratic. Thanks to work, I pretty much live in a different time zone from everybody else in my house. And uh, comment down below what your favorite thing in this box was, and if you've ever taken advantage of Currency fluctuations to score cool collectible. The one thing is, I don't think the autographs are in top loader, so I'm hoping they all got here okay. Ah. Well. They double boxed. Okay, so this one is apparently five 8x10s, one Funko, and one autographed item. I wish I had known it was double box. This would have been a way cooler visual at the beginning than the other box. Hey, Sarah. All right. Let's see what's in this baby. First off, ha. Got one of these from them before. This is a Hacksaw Jim Duggan autographed replica 2x4. Price of wood, what it is, this thing probably paid for the box by itself. Guess I'm gonna have to do the Funko first because everything else is on top of it. I'm hoping it's somebody I don't have, but I know that's a long shot. And we have. Yeah, Trish Stratish. Stratish. Trish Stratus. Wow. Oh, it's apparently um, exclusive to her shop. So I don't know if this one's more valuable than the normal one or not. I do have her already, but obviously she is a legend. And I don't know if I have that exact Funko. It looks different. So it's up there somewhere. Do you guys see it? Do you know what the difference is? See who the eight by tens are. 
So I'm already pretty happy. I think that Funko's usually like 60 bucks or so. Yeah. All my little cards just went flying. Looks like these all made it in good shape. First we have Abe Knuckleball Schwartz. Once upon a time known as MVP, also known as the Brooklyn Brawler. I love that character, and actually, that's a really cool pose of him. Don't often forget, like, an in-ring shot of him. That one's neat. Now we have... Ooh, Abdullah the Butcher. Legendary hardcore guy. Got some of the bloodiest brawls there was. And opened a really interesting restaurant that I wish I could have checked out. It's like ribs and Chinese food or something like that. It was some weird combination. And we have... Ooh. Medusa. I actually got to meet her once and she's really awesome. So, that is cool. Hey, do you know where her name came from? It's actually kind of an interesting story. Trivia question. If you know what her name actually means, post it in the comments below. And we have on what I'm fairly certain is a replica uh, promo. Mr. USA Tony Atlas. I have quite a few of him because he lives pretty close to me, so he signs all the time. And I'm sure you guys already saw it, Mr. Kurt Angle. Um, Value-wise, I would say I did quite well. I think just these two pay for the box. So everybody else is a bonus. I do think I had most of these people already, but I do like some of these pictures a lot more than the ones I had. So and these are very high, they're like very high quality gloss photos too. So that is nice. So yeah, I really can't complain on this one. I think I made out pretty well. Uh, make sure you check. Sorry. Cannot get these back in here for the life of me. Curse my lack of fine motor skills. Anyway. Uh, make sure you follow their Facebook page. They do auctions usually like at least twice a month. They've done a couple of surprise pop-up ones too. Uh, you can get some great, great deals if you're paying attention. Especially if you get on early. A lot of people don't pay attention early, and I have gotten some insane snags. And once again, with the cur currency conversion, you talk good, no bad talk too. If you're in the U.S., you can make out like a bandit. But, all right. So it's backslid to each other. Party on, dudes.